We are here in Louisville, Kentucky for the 149th running of the Kentucky Derby. We are staying in this marina in a boat. There's a party going on, no doubt about that. What's up that old folks? Somebody's got to win some money to pay for these $17 mint juleps. We won! Let's do two grand right now on both of them. Now Thank we're in the Kentucky know. Derby groove, right? Now we're in the Derby groove. We are here in Louisville, Kentucky at Churchill Downs for the 149th running of the Kentucky Derby. But this is not where this story begins. Oh no, the Kentucky Derby is actually a culmination of a week of partying. We got here on Tuesday and because it was a last minute trip, we had to get a little creative with our accommodations. So with hotels in short supply because we were last minute booking, we had to find some alternate accommodations, luckily, via a friend of a friend, we were able to do just that. And we are staying in this marina in a boat. Let's check out the boat. Mustache check, yeah. how are we looking? Pretty good, maybe like a three out of 10. Three out of 10 on the mustache yeah. check, okay. The boat is called Desperado and it is a very large sea ray. It's all, I don't, I don't, I, be, I don't know anything about boats. We got a nice little living room here, some TVs, refrigerator. All in all, the boat's been extremely comfortable. We've had very few issues. There was one little issue, you know, I mean, I'm a big guy, and this is a small bathroom, but I was actually able to make that work. These are my quarters over here. So I've got the uh, large bedroom here, which has been super comfy. Will, show us show us crib style. Will's been chilling over here. He's got a private bedroom with his own bathroom, thank goodness. All in all, I didn't, I didn't know how staying in a boat would be, but it's been freaking great. And of course, once we got settled in on the boat, we had to find a place to get the party started. So a mile from our boat slip was Harrods Creek Tavern where we found good food and even better people. And of course on Wednesday, we hooked up with Matt. We did some bourbon hunting, found a nice Michter's barrel strength bourbon, which is a hard one to find. And then ended up back at the tavern that night where something that makes these trips so much more fun happens. Like one of those things where when I tell the story, people just don't even freaking believe me. So I got a little bit of footage for you where we hooked up with the Riddler and we ended up playing Duck Hunt all night. We're talking like old Weird school stuff. Nintendo, like OG like Nintendo. Nintendo. Man, got it set up outside the house. Dude, we got the only existing CRT TV in the world right here. You would we got so. a barber chair. Oh, God. look at you, you're a natural. So now that y'all are all caught up to speed and I've got a mint julep in my hand right here, I'm here at Churchill Downs for the Kentucky Thurby. That's right. I said that right. Thurby. And that's because the Kentucky Derby isn't a one day event. They party all freaking week. So we're going to check it out. We're going to be here for the next three days trying to figure out what the Kentucky Derby is all about. Apparently, it's just one big party and every once in a while some horses run around in circles. I don't know. So far, it's pretty dead here in the infield. Not a party yet. But we'll check it out for a little while and then we'll watch a couple of races and then we'll go find something interesting to do if it gets boring from me. Like that's all we can do, right? But I hear this infield right here is going to be crazy on Saturday. It's supposed to ratchet up tomorrow on Friday and then Saturday, this is supposed to be out of hand. We'll see. That's all about. Yeah. And it's just the best place to be. Because we can sit there and set up, drill out. How do we get over there? You gotta sponsor a horse or have the horse in the race. So you gotta ball out to get over there. Kind of. Okay. I mean, you can get into uh, sponsoring a horse for only a few hundred bucks a year, and you can end up having access to any event that happens. Here. Side one contact good sport. Radical right, right up and on the pace from behind. Well, fits it right there. As the pass on the brakes briefly. Break it two lanes back to ready to pounce and double crown the trailer. All right, so we watched our first race. A little uneventful. It was close at the end, but like we're over here, we can't see any of that watching it on the big screen here, which you could do from home. But I'm one mint julep down, I need a second one. Then we need to get a dog in the fight. We gotta put a little money down, see if we can't come out. Somebody's gotta win some money to pay for these $17 mint julep. This is more expensive than liquor hunt. Apparently the infield's just not open today. Like they, they don't expect anybody in here and we're the idiots wandering around trying to figure out why nothing's open. So we're gonna head back over there where we uh, started this venture, see if we can't find a vantage point to watch a race, throw down a little bet and spend more money on overpriced mint juleps. Mint julep, 
number two. So we technically don't have tickets to get into the uh, stands here, but the guard over here don't seem to be paying much attention. So we're going to see if we can just walk on by and see what's up. All right, so horse number three went from the back to the front, 23 to one odds. I wish I'd have had some money on that. I'm down a mint julep. Watch the race, string a mint julep. It's time for the third mint julep. I had to get some money on the next race. So let's go figure out how to do that. So we were in line for mint julep number three and missed the whole freaking race. But my horse did not do well and so my $20 is gone and my betting is over. Will's horse decided to not even run the freaking race. It scratched, it just quit. It just checked out, it's just like, I'm done. So you could go back and get your money back. But instead... I just let her pick uh, horse number one. So now you're all in. What are the odds? You're $10 in. Yeah. What's the odds? Horse number five to two? It's gonna win two. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a newbie, I'm a baby. You should do the double roasting. Yeah. One for the gentle. Mustache. Yeah, that, it's celebra we're celebrating that mustache coming in. It's in there, but I promise you it is. All right, we're going to watch the next race that I got no dog in. I had a dog in one race, got no excitement out of it. What's the worst $20 I've spent other than maybe $17 mint juleps? But at least this time we're going to do oh, it with geez, a cigar. What a beautiful bird. All right, Dave, I feel like I feel like we did you wrong last night, man. Uh, we made promises. We did. We'd be home by midnight. <laughs> and we did not uphold those promises. Yeah. But I was duck hunting. That was good. Yeah, duck hunting was fun. Never, never duck hunted that way before. So. <laughs> Man, man's hard car. You slept in the truck. I did. I did. You, slept in, you went to work this morning. I got there. And you back out partying. We're back up. You need a drink? Watching some horses. No, I do not need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Horse number one moving up, Will. He's moving up. You won. What you six two? What did you win? You spent a dollar, you made 75 cents back. It's a sucker's bet. It's a sucker's bet. I'm done gambling at this point. Like, I, I make one bet, we'll bet one more on the actual derby on Saturday. My bet is on all these freaking expensive mint juleps. Mint julep, number four right here. Like, what do you think the Old Forester mint julep bottle goes for at retail? I'm going to go with uh, 29 maybe? Yeah, like 29 25 29 dollars. And, but they don't come with these glasses. That's true. And I can't drink them. I can't bring my own into Churchill Down. So, so there's at least six in here. Now, I think five. There's at least five. And then we're holding three. Yep. So we, we're going to have a good set. We're going to have a good set for the ball. What, did you just bet on this race? No, the next one, what'd you get? Seven. Seven, okay. Who won? Uh, three. Dude, three won this race. We won! We won! Did you? Let's go, yep. You got to get on this one? On three. And you had three? Yep. What were the odds? Four, four to five? What? Oh, we won a ton of chickens. I'm glad you're winning because we need to cash for mint juleps. I'll tell you what. I keep bringing it in and keep drinking. That's how it works. Good What's your favorite man. bourbon? Uh, Eagle Rare. All right, that's a good one. Uh, Eagle Rare. That right there. Stick with that, man. That's good. You're doing a great job. I enjoy listening to your takes all day. So. I appreciate it, man. I've seen your collection behind you in those videos. It's not a collection. It's a selection. So all over. Yeah. 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 He got all the wellers. All right, Will, how many glasses do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we lost two. I sold one for $10. We broke one because I was swinging them around just recklessly. But we're eight glasses day one. There are two more. I don't know if we're coming back tomorrow. I really don't. But we'll be here Saturday. Day one, eight glasses. And we're going to do just a little bit of liquor hunting before we go find some dinner. Which one are we looking at? A black top, will it? I've never seen that. This one, it's like a rye and bourbon. It's a mix. It's a combo. They did a blend. Indiana, yeah, so it's MGP in there. Yeah, I don't want that. that. I don't want that. All right, let's make a deal on this purple, man. I'm trying to find Was that a 17? Yeah, it's a 17, yes. 1,500 bucks is the deal I'd give you on that. What do you got on the other purple there? That's the weeded? Is that what that is? Uh, What's that to the left? It, it's a it's a yeah, that's the weeded. weeded. That's the weeded. Let's do two grand right now on both of them. I can't do that, my man. Of course you can. I'll be back in two weeks. <laughs> it, every every two weeks he comes in and he negotiates like that. And he wonders why these people don't like him. I'll, I'll tell them why they like me. I'm the only idiot that'll pay that much for a bottle of whiskey like that. All right, so we came back to the shop here and we're having a few pours before we end up finding some food. Oh, 
Man, can't beat E.H. Taylor though. You're drinking Eagle Rare. Yeah. Try this. Cannonball, cannonball. Take that back. <laughs> <laughs> There's no heartburn on this. Oh. And that's that's a higher proof. That's 100. That's what I'm saying. It's weird. Yeah. The 133 Jack had no heartburn at all. I've, 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 I've never done this. You I'm just sorry. blending them. I've never done this. All right. How is it blended? Oh, you. We got halfies. Halfies. Cheers. That's interesting, because you can kind of taste both of them. Like you still get some of that, those kind of great notes from the Eagle Rare. Pretty good. It is Friday night in Louisville, Kentucky, and this is Sherby. Everything here ends in Irby. We had Thurby at the racetrack, and now it's Sherby, which is just a freaking block party. Like they just shut down an entire street. It starts up here with food trucks and runs for who knows how long. We're gonna explore it, we're gonna figure it out. And they also have the world's largest and most useless disco ball. Like what are you gonna do with a disco ball that big? Absolutely nothing, but it's freaking huge. And there it is. And we were lucky enough to hook up with some folks that have a house here on the block. So we've got restroom facilities and some drinks and things. And we're able to just kind of get away from it a little bit and hang out with some cool folks rather than dealing with all of this madness and insanity and honestly it's getting cr more crowded and worse by the minute your camera's bigger than mine yeah but you got a gimbal though people get intimidated by that they don't get intimidated you by put this that in your pocket yes and i have to lug this heavy ass thing around all but I, night so what are you filming for uh for sure next year's We're promotional good. video oh, okay there's a party going on no doubt about that. We've got food trucks, we've got a whole bunch of people here, but my scene's gonna be more over here at the house where we get away from the crowd a little bit, watch the spectacle, but not have to actually interact with it. So we're gonna chill out over here, see what happens after it gets dark. All right, there's one thing I've learned since I've been here in Louisville, and that is that they are too lazy to say Old Forester, and this is Ofo. So Ofo and Coke hits pretty hard. I'm speaking like a local, is that how it works? Ofo, that's, how it works, that's where it's at. When, hey, you gotta speak the dialect when you go places. Any other like lazy acronyms I need to know about? Y'all. That's from Alabama, we invented y'all. You ain't got y'all, Kentucky, y'all? No, 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 we Heard? own that one. Huh? Heard? Heard? Like a like a bunch of buffalo? Your boy said so. What'd he say? He said heard. Heard like a bunch of buffalo. No, like, he heard that. We acknowledge that you exist. Okay. We heard what you said. What's up that old folk? We just say, yeah. Do you feel good, William? I do feel good. Mm. Feel really good. Do you know that you would now? Nope. No? Nope. Good looking jacket, man. Yeah, it's too, it's still too hot though. Uh, this, this hat is just burning up. And of course, I got the shoes on and everything. Absolutely care nothing for comfort. All right, they're $17 and we don't even get as cool a cup. I mean, these are easier to stack. They're a little smaller. I like them. We'll collect a few of these, but not as nice as the glasses we got on Thursday. But, you know, you have to start the day off right with a mint julep. What do you think about this one compared to Thursday? It's better than me. I think it's more watered down, at least mine is. It's all good, still tasty. Pro tip, bring your own chairs. Three gets smoked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Three just quit racing. That's a, he just stopped. He, he just went on to the house, man. What? Just three just quit. Like he, he's like, nah, I ain't dealing with this. And three don't like crowds. Horse three, twenty dollars, straight up. I got twenty on five, straight up. That's it. So you bet? Yeah. Thought you were. For now. All right. Again, pro tips here. We're giving you all the pro tips. Work your way to the front of the line and bet on all your horses. Like get you a program, line up all your bets, go ahead and place them so you don't spend all day in line. Literally missed a race waiting in line to bet on that race. What do you think? Cigar time? Sure. Let's do it. Now we're in the Kentucky Derby groove, right? Now we're in the Derby groove, baby. Got a decent cigar. We got some wagers placed on the next race. Which horse did you have? Uh, five. Five. Yeah. And I've got three, so I gotta make my money back. We're gonna be just watching all races in line for alcohol at this point. So, canned beers, $12 for a canned beer, if you're looking for one. And this kind of line. All right, what do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Ooh, three. Three little lead. Three. He took off too early. Too soon, Junior. Too soon. Come on, three. Let's go, three. Oh, he's too far back. He's too far back. Ah. I'm telling y'all, we're, we're, we're not good at betting. We're not good at gambling. We're not good at winning things. Will, yeah. 
You also suck at gambling. Yeah, I do. Your last name is Gamble, yeah. yet you suck at it. How does that make you feel, man? Like, right. you know, we, I don't feel like we're living up to our namesakes here. So go ahead and tell them. Hit the like button. Watch all the way to the end. Subscribe. Subscribe, like, comment. Comment the next event they should go to. You should find eligible bachelors and pull them over and be like, she need, you need to interview. Or like, make us interview. What if we just asked them their favorite bourbon and you judged them based on that? Okay, I'm down. Okay. What is your favorite bourbon? Uh, Maker's Mark. So you like a weeder, but you like it basic. Basic. What is your favorite? I don't really drink bourbon. So I watch you on YouTube. I, lo I, I love your, I love your bourbon you. stuff. What's your favorite bourbon? Uh, I, I, know they were I like yet, Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark is solid. I know the stuff you taste, I'm like, I've never even heard of half of it. But you do a great job with you talk about the oak and the different flavors. Yeah. What's your favorite year, age year of uh, bourbon? Typically 10, 12 years. What is your favorite bourbon? Woodford. What is your favorite type of bourbon? Any bourbon, honestly. I don't yeah, have a favorite. So, so you I, don't like bourbon at all, so you just drink them all. I just they drink bourbon, right. Yeah. I'm out from Kentucky, so it's not... Where are you, where are you from? Upstate New York. Oh, okay. So Be bourbon specific. hasn't made it up there yet? It has, but not like down here. It's, it's a different type of culture down here, for sure. Hi. I'm Lillian. Griffin. Griffin. Nice to meet you. I'm interviewing for Bruzel, okay. the YouTube channel. Okay. And I need to know what your favorite type of bourbon is. Bourbon? Elijah Craig, Kentucky, born and raised. What's your favorite type? <laughs> type of what? Bourbon. Oh, probably, honestly, I hate to say it, but probably Maker's Mark. Okay, that is the most boring answer in I know, I hate to Okay, say we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. What's your favorite type of bourbon? Blade and Bow. Your answer is a 10 out of 10. Of course it is. Because everyone else sucks. I mean, look at everyone That's around right. here and look at me. That's really... That's why I picked you. Of course. Yeah, recently, I'm going to say Four Roses. Okay, I haven't heard it, personally, so yeah, you get a 10. A, yeah. What is it? Blanton's. Oh, I'm going way mainstream. Uh, we're you... from Lexington's. We're going to go with Woodford. <laughs> What's your favorite type of bourbon? Favorite type of bourbon? I'm not a bourbon drinker. Lame. Uh, Weller. 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 I oh, don't know. You got to go Woodford for the current event, but... It is so... That is such but, a boring answer. But I like larceny. Subscribe to Bruzel. This is Lillian Linehan. I'm signing off. Thank you, Bruzel, for giving me a platform at Instagram, at Lillian Linehan. Now, we were going to do some interviews, but Lillian's hard to beat. Like, I don't I don't know how I'm going to be able to top that. Because we had a good time here at the Kentucky Derby. Um, there's still the big race to come here in just a few minutes, but it is packed out in the infield. It takes an hour to get food. It is just a gaggle of people in here. You can't even see the race. Like, you're just watching it on screens and betting and stuff. So. If you bring a group of people, could be a good time. You know, if you're maybe a little younger and you want to, you know, run around and mingle, we've definitely met some some interesting personalities there. But I don't know if this is my scene next time. Well, next time we might have to raise that cloud a little bit. We're gonna have to we're gonna raise the cloud and get over there in the grandstands, maybe in a little VIP access or something, and see how different that experience is than what we're getting over here. Will, you think of what I'm thinking? Oh yeah. Let's do it. This is more my idea of a good time. Can you set up a cycle player? Can you control the